I feel like I look super crazy right now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emmeline Rose, and today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a Maleficent-inspired makeup tutorial. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this makeup look, then just keep on watching. Okay. Here we go with another makeup tutorial. So today, as I mentioned in the intro, and as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing Maleficent inspired makeup. I'm going to have the half and half Maleficent versus Sleeping Beauty um, makeup look linked down below in the description box for you guys. So you guys can go and check that out because this eye look is going to be pretty much based around that look. So yeah, excuse the tiredness look on my face. It was spring fling weekend at my college and instead of actually doing the concert events at our school Andrew and I saw Endgame on Friday night which was so good no spoilers but just so good and then last night we watched the Hunger Games so and we were up very late so I'm just very tired looking but I feel great so we're just gonna start with this makeup look also, let me know in the comments down below, um, well, two things. One, which villain I should do next for my next makeup tutorial. Um, and also, let me know if this lighting is okay to you guys. I turned down the brightness of my ring light because it was washing, not washing out, it was totally, like, darkening the background of me and it just didn't look good, I thought, in videos. Um, so I turned it down a little bit. I still think it looks fine, um, but I just want to know what you guys think of this new brightness setup type of thing. I don't know. So today I'm going to be pretty much featuring the Misunderstood Color Pop Palette. This is the Disney Villain Eyeshadow Palette. So I'm going to be, I think I'm going to use um, just for my eyeshadow all of these colors. Like not all of the colors, but... <clears throat> All the colors I use for my eyeshadow are going to be from this palette, I believe. Um, I will let you guys know if I use other eyeshadows. I'm going to also try to remember to link all the products down below in the description box so you guys can go and check them out. So I'm just going to stop rambling on and get on with this makeup look. So today I'm going to be starting to prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. As usual, I always use this primer when I film my videos. So I'm just going to apply that to the lids and then blend it out with my beauty sponge from Real Techniques. Primer's on, and then I'm going to go in with that Misunderstood palette, and I'm going to take the shade Tragic. I'm actually going to zoom you guys in. And I'm going to take this on this flat shading brush. I have no clue what the brand is. Um, and I'm just going to use this to set that primer. I'm also going to take a little bit of no spots on that brush and just use that to set the powder as well. Now I'm going to be taking some scotch tape. You're probably wondering what the hell are you doing, Emmeline? Um, I'm going to use this to... Well, I'm going to stick it on the back of my hand first, and then I'm going to use this to line up against, like, my bottom lash line and, like, up to kind of create, like, a wingy thingy. It helps, like, create a sharper line with your eyeshadows when you're blending. I think they do make, like, makeup tape that's, like, safer for your face. Um, I don't have that, and scotch tape has never done me wrong whenever I've done this. I also don't use scotch tape that much anyway, so I'm not that worried. I'm actually going to move this a little bit. Yeah, so you're just going to want to try and make sure that they're even on both sides, because if they're not, then your eyeshadow is not going to um, blend out evenly. Like, they're not going to look the same. So now I'm going to go back with the Misunderstood palette, and I'm going to take the shade Devious. And I'm going to take this on this tapered blending brush by Elizabeth Mott. We all know that this is my favorite blending brush if you have been watching my makeup tutorials for a while now. And I'm going to just take this shade, I'm going to blend it in the crease, I'm going to kind of focus it. <clears throat> I'm going to kind of focus it up toward the brow bone once I kind of start to lose pigment and I am going to kind of flick it out just a little bit onto the tape so the eyeshadow look is kind of more blown out. I also have my makeup mat on my lap so um, any fallout kind of stuff that falls in the air will get caught on there and it also helps clean off the brush. It doesn't wash the brush and cleanse it, but it does clean it off of any eyeshadows. So highly recommend you guys get this. I believe I got this for Christmas from my mom 
I think she said she got it like five below, but I'm sure you can find them on Amazon too. Now I'm going to be very ambitious. This is where I get very nervous with this eyeshadow look because I've never played around with black eyeshadows before. I did practice this look one other time other than when I made the half and half makeup tutorial. So please bear with me with the blending process of this. Um, if it doesn't look that great, I am in no way a professional makeup artist. Even though I went to cosmetology school, I'm still not the best with makeup. Like, I'm no James Charles, Nikki Tutorials, any of that. So please bear with me. I am really, really trying. But I'm going to take 101 from the palette. And I'm going to take that on this e.l.f. Professional Eye Crease Brush. And I'm going to focus this really tight in the crease and, like, flick it out in the outer corner. Kind of like how I'm doing this, only I'm just not going to bring it up as high as Devious went. So I tried my best. I don't know. I don't think it's that great, but you guys might, I don't know. I think I'm just being maybe a little bit too hard myself. I know I gotta practice with blending my black eyeshadow, but... Now I am going to take my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser Concealer thingy in the shade Fair. And I'm going to also take this um, Eco Tools Concealer Brush, and I'm just going to dip this brush onto like the head of here um and i'm going to try and like cut attempt to cut my crease do something like that just basically put this all over my lid to kind of clean up like any black shadow that got on there and then where it kind of like meets the black i'm going to just use my finger to kind of blend it um and then i'm going to take no spots from the palette and that shader brush from before and i'm just going to set that concealer okay so now i'm going to take this ego tools eye shading brush and i'm going to go into the shade force of thorns and i'm going to take the shade and i'm going to apply it on like the outer part of the lid where not where the black is and in the inner part I'm going to wipe off the brush on the makeup mat, and then I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to go in with the shade Diablo, and I'm going to put that shade in the center of the lid. Alrighty, boys and girls, we are almost done with the eyeshadows. I'm going to take this uh, small shader brush by Luxie, and I'm going to take the shade No Spot. And I'm going to take the shade and I'm going to apply it to the brow bone in the inner corner. I'm also going to take that same shading brush and I'm going to go into the shade Flotimus. Flotimus? Flotimus, whatever. And I'm going to apply that also into the inner corner. Now, finally, we get to peel off the tape. Peel it. And you see how just like nice and sharp and crisp that line is. The side is kind of a little bit messy, but we can kind of fix that up with concealer and foundation and stuff a little bit. For eyeliner, today I'm going to be using the NYX Professional Makeup Epic Ink Liner. This is in the shade Black. And I'm going to line my eyes with it and I'm going to do kind of a little bit of a thicker wing than normal. Eyeliner actually looks so good. Alright guys, so I'm going to let this eyeliner dry for a little bit, and then I'm going to do my foundation routine. I will have that video linked down below in the description box for you guys, so you can go and check that out to find out how I do my foundation. Um, because I don't like to show it in my videos that much anymore, because it gets repetitive, because I do the same thing, so anyway, I'm rambling on. But I'll have it leaved linked down below in the description box for you guys to go and check it out if you're interested and then I will be back once all of that is done to finish the makeup okay so foundation concealer and brows are on I did my eyebrows a little bit thicker than I normally would so that's probably a little bit of a change and the only other thing that kind of changed up a little bit is my primer and today I use the Tarte double duty beauty base tape whoa the Tarte Base Tape Hydrating Primer, um, and this is like Tarte Double Beauty Duty, I don't know what that has to do with it, but I got this in my Ipsy bag as a little sample and I've been trying it out and I really like it. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing that changed. 
And now I'm going to kind of go in with the brows again. And I'm going to take this angled eyeliner brush by Eco Tools, and I'm going to take the shade 101 from the Misunderstood palette. And I'm just going to kind of fill them in a little bit just to make them a little bit more darker and dramatic. I also kind of angled them like up, like make the arch a little bit more stronger. I don't know. I feel like I look super crazy right now. Anyway. Now I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. smudge brush and I'm going to go in with the shade Devious from this Understood palette and I'm just going to apply that underneath my lash line. I'm also going to take 101 on that brush and kind of blend that in toward the outer part of the lid just to kind of connect that with the eyeliner. To bronze my skin, I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Perfecting Veil. This is the Sheer Boost Light to Medium shade. And I'm going to use this brush. I have no clue where it's from. Um, I, I don't even know, remember when I got this. I've had this kit thing forever. Looks like this. Lots of brushes like this. I don't even know where I got it. I think my mom got it for me for like Christmas or something one year. But this is just like a very angled brush as you can tell. And I'm going to use this to kind of bronze and contour my skin a little bit going to attempt to and yeah I'm just gonna take that on my hairline I don't know I'm not really good at the whole bronzing contour thing I'm just kind of doing whatever for blush I'm going to go in with the Steve Laurent blush in the, the shade rose all day and I'm going to take that on this Eco tools blush brush For highlighter, I'm going to go in with the Moon Child Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to go in with the shade Lucky Clover. And I'm going to take that on this Mata Pro uh, Glow Highlighting Brush. This is the BMX uh, 265 Glow Brush. And I'm going to really dip it in there. Tap off the excess and I'm going to highlight the cheekbones brow bone or like the above my brow I really want this to be intense because it really brings out the green the more you put on which is what I want for this look we are all highlighted and glowy to set the makeup I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray for mascara of course I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. And I would apply fake lashes if I had them and if I was good at them, but I don't have them, so I can't even try. But I'm just going to really kind of build up the mascara just to try and get the lashes to look as nice and voluminous and there, but we'll see. For the finishing touch of this look, I'm going to use this lipstick from the ColourPop Villains Collection in obviously Maleficent and apply that on my lip. Alright guys, and that is it for this Maleficent inspired makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from me. I really appreciate you guys' support. Check the description box for my social media. I always have it linked down below in there. Give me a follow. I love interacting with you guys on my social media. So definitely go and check that out. And let me know in the comments down below what you guys would like to see next for a makeup tutorial. And I think that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go now and I will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.